Hello everyone, we just wait for it to hear back with another how to play today. We're looking at how to play this game, Mori, which is from All Play, with artwork by the talented Beth Sobel. Game is designed by Daniel Newman, who's designed a number of different games. As for three to five players, it's a trick taking game. And it also is developed by one uh, Taylor. Sorry, I apologize for his last name. Taylor Reiner, who has a YouTube channel all about trick taking games. He's a very big fan of it, and he's developed this game. He also was involved in the development of the another trick taking game from All Play called Sail, which I've looked at in the past. Although that one was actually a reimplementation implementation of a game from Japan. This one is not. It's original. So, uh, like that. He's also been involved with other games. And once you get it, you get a little scoring thing with a dry erase marker. Very nice floral art. Uh, these different flowers that you see in the back of here represent the four seasons. It's double-sided, so you can use this nicer side, or you can use this. The X, by the way, represents rot. And uh, you also get a deck of what is called Seasons cards, which have cards 0 through 10, each of the four suits. Lower numbers have leaves, which are worth points, anywhere from 1 to 3. Uh, higher numbers have skulls, which are negative points. And some of them, the sixes, they don't have anything. You also get these X cards, the rock cards. Uh, each player is going to start off with two. And then I've taken out these ones. You can see the negative points and positive points. You don't use the zeros and the tens in a four player game. In a three player game, you only use one through seven, I believe it is. In five players, you'll use all the cards and you will also shuffle in one of these X cards and deal out the entire thing. So. Each player is also going to get one of these cards, which is a dice and hand card. It also doubles as a little bit of a reference on scoring stuff. So, so we're doing three players, actually four, because I have things set up for four. And you give each person an X, a couple of X's. The rest can go aside. You won't need them. And then we'll deal out the cards. I think it's nine cards each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, nine cards each. That's what you get. I missed Delta a little bit. You're going to put these X's into your hand as well. And like I said, this represents the four seasons. And it's also how you're going to deal with Trump. Um, let me see if I can. So, this is autumn or fall, this is summer, this is spring, and this is winter. And so you see, spring is, they're basically trumped by their preceding season. So spring trumps winter, summer trumps spring, fall trumps summer, etc, etc. I believe, unless I'm looking at that incorrectly. <sighs> Uh, just hang on a sec. <laughs> well, that's what we're going with. More or less, it's pretty self explanatory there. Where it says, what it shows, one seat trumps another. What you're going to do at the start, you got these, I forgot, you also got these 10 die, which has on all four sides, on, well, four sides, you got the four seasons, the four flowers. And then on two sides, you got X's. Now, what you're going to do at the start is you're going to shuffle these up. And you're going to put these where they belong. So you go over here, over here. You got purple, this is red, and the X's go in the middle. And then you're going to do a trick taking game. It's a must follow for the most part. 
Uh, if everyone were to play an X, by the way, if I lead an X and he plays an X, he plays an X, and he plays an X, the first one played wins the trick. We're not going to do that, though. <laughs> um, let's say I play this 7. It's a negative point, but I'm hoping other people play positive points and that I can win this trick. This guy's going to play. He has to fall if possible. He can. So he will. He's already possibly giving me a point, which would equalize the negative point that I played. <laughs> uh, this guy does not want to give me one of three. He's going to play the six. He's not going to win the trick, but he's not giving me any points either. And this guy will play. And, well, what he's going to do is... He could play the eight and win the trick, but he's going to end up with a negative point. He doesn't want to do that. And he doesn't want to play the 5 because he's going to give me a point. So what he's going to do is he's going to play the X. The X is basically a 0. And basically a guaranteed to lose the trick. So, highest card played is Super Lead. That was me. I won. So I'm going to collect these. For scoring purposes. And I get to collect one of these die. Uh, let's say I collect... Let's say I collect green. And I'm going to put that on dice in hand here on my card. And now I'm going to lead the next trick. Maybe I lead. Let's go with seven again. I'll go with the seven of this purple. I don't know what the flowers are, unfortunately, but it is what it is. This guy will play the four. Again, he's giving up points, but it is what it is. This guy is going to play his X. And then this guy will play. What does he want to do? He's just going to play an X. <laughs> so I win again. I'm collecting X's, which is not great. In fact, you're going to keep the X's separate. So I'm going to take I'm going to take an X now. Now, at any point in time, if you want, instead of playing a card, you can play a die. And I can play this and lead that. It has no value. However, if I'm the only one who plays... This suit, I will win the trick. Or if this is a trump and I play this and nobody else played trump, I would win the trick. Um, but I'm going to play that. Why not? And this guy will play... He'll play a five. And this guy will play... Uh, he'll play a seven. And this guy is going to play. He doesn't have any access to play. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I guess he's going to play an 8. He's going to win the trick. He's going to collect this die, even though it's not going to give him any points. And he's going to collect these. And now he gets to collect the die. Maybe he collects purple. And now he's going to play... And there's something else I should mention with the die. When you play a die, it is Mayfall. So if I play a die, if this guy were to play this die, I don't have to play purple. I can play something else if I want. I can trump it immediately if I want. So he's not going to do that. Uh, he's going to play, let's say he plays the 8 of purple instead. Oops. And you can play dice at any time. Basically. Uh, let's say I don't want to play my purple, so I play this. This guy decides to play an X as well. He doesn't want to give up his points. And then this guy, well, just, I guess, play a five. So again, this guy won, played the highest card. He's going to collect these cards. He collects this die. He collects this one. And he's going to lead the next one. He's going to select one of these. Maybe he selects this. And he's going to lead the next one. You're going to keep going around the table until you've played out all, well, until you've played through until there's no more dice available. Once there's no more dice available on on here, you play the 10 rounds and the, the round ends. Or 10 tricks and the round ends. So once these are all gone, the round is over. And then you will score your points. Dice like this that have a flower on them, they're nothing. So you can just get rid of them. And then you're going to count up all the points you have on here. So this guy's got... 3 minus 2, he's got negative 1, so he's got nothing. You can't get negative. Me, I also did not do very well, as to say. 
I only have these, so I got two. You gotta score those up, write them out on the board. You gotta be playing one round for every player, so three rounds for three players, four for four, five for five. You're also gonna be looking at the X's. So whoever got the most X cards and dice, so we each got three here currently. <laughs> um, but let's say I did really badly and I picked up five. Whoever has the most of these rot cards or dice, if I even have this one, you're going to lose one point for each one on your score. As you can see here by the scoring. Whoever has the second most, which is this guy, is actually going to get one point. Now, ties are, as they say, friendly. So if we were both tied for free, we would each lose points. And if there was, let's say, a tie for second place, they would each get the three points, and I would lose four because I have the most. So the most X's is bad. Second most is good. You get bonus points. You then shuffle everything up. We deal. We roll the right, uh, the, the rice, the dice. <laughs> I can't speak. And you go again. And again, you're going to play one round per player. Uh, cards, nice linen finish, good quality. Nice dice. Uh, really nice artwork. Of course, best soap was excellent. This box is just nice. Uh, I like it. So that is Mori. Really cool game. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, when you play dice, you don't have to follow suit. Every other time when it's cards, you do have to follow suit. I did show you an example. Maybe I should show you an example really quickly. I'll just get rid of all these X's. So, if I played, let's say I played this purple. And this guy, let's say he doesn't have purple. He could play the next suit, which is a trump. And he plays a four. Maybe even he would play the two. And then this guy would go. He would have to play on suit, so he'd play that. And this guy plays, you know, this. And in this case, it's going to be the highest trump that will win. He played the highest trump, so he would win. So that's how trumps work in this game. Yeah, it's always going to be different. It's going to be based on whatever card was led. So if yellow is led, green is going to trump it. Orange is led, yellow is going to trump it. Or red, whatever you want to call it. So that is that. Hopefully that makes sense. Comment, like, subscribe. I don't know what you think. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.